In this video, I'll be explaining to you how to use MailChimp's email dashboard. The email dashboard is accessible from analytics and then email in the left hand column. MailChimp collects and analyzes data on clicks, opens, social activity, purchases, and other interactions if tracking is enabled on your email. The email dashboard displays key metrics and the details about how your emails perform. You can use this data to refine your email strategy, discover ideas for future email campaigns, or optimize your current campaigns. The email dashboard is divided into performance and email comparison. At the top, you can choose the date range for the information you want to see, the comparison period, and the emails you want to look at. So if we click the drop down, we can see the emails from which information is displayed. On the performance page, you can view key metrics, marketing analysis, replicate your best emails, track conversions, and see how your email campaigns perform. The monitor performance section shows key metrics and percentages of change for each. If you want to select metrics, click the edit link. So if we click edit, on the left hand side, we can choose the metrics we want to see. So I'm just going to select different metrics and then save and it'll show those metrics there. Your best email section shows the top performing email as determined by the highest order rate if you have a store connected or the highest click rate if not. If you click replicate here, it'll replicate this email campaign. Click content suggestions to open the content optimizer. The track conversion graph shows how many recipients are taking your intended action from your emails. The percentages between the columns show how many recipients move through the email funnel. So this is saying that 71,833 deliveries of which 25% or 18,145 opened, of which 4.4% clicked it, etc, etc. Finally, we have performance over time. The performance over time graph shows the performance for a single metric across time. Select the metric from the top right hand side. So if we want to see this, that's showing the unsubscribe rate over time. If we click that, we can see the open rate over time. The second section is email comparison. The email comparison page plots how a metric performed email by email. It features a clickable table giving details for each email in a graph. And so on this graph here, we're seeing the metric revenue and it's showing us revenue across different emails. If we select email sent, it'll then show us the metric email sent for those different campaigns. If we hover over it, we'll see more information. The detailed email performance table lists the metrics for emails sent during a selected time frame. You can use this table to compare the performance of multiple emails easily. So here we've got the name of the campaign on the left hand side, it's got the type, it's got number of recipients, open rate, click rate, and revenue. So, you, so from this table, you can easily see how your last five emails performed.